Hi everyone, welcome back to Dark Feminine Consciousness. I am Tifara. Today I'm going to share with you a recipe, a sea moss recipe. People always ask, uh, how do you use sea moss? How can you prepare sea moss? And so this is one of the many ways that you can use sea moss. It's one of my favorite ways. It's a raw sea moss salad. And this one is a little bit inspired by Asian cuisine. Actually, I'll just explain as I go along. So I'm gonna show you the ingredients. It's really easy. There's no cooking involved. Well, maybe a little bit. I'm gonna roast some nuts. But apart from that, there is really no cooking involved. So it's a really quick and easy salad to make. All right, guys, so here's my setup. First things first, I have some purple sea moss soaking. It's been soaking for a little bit. It wasn't dry, 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 so I didn't need to soak it overnight. Just a couple of hours, it's been soaking, really. So I think that's enough to rehydrate it. I have some almond nuts. These are Jamaican almonds, by the way. I did post on my Instagram all of the benefits. And I did mention in the video about hair growth that almonds are good for encouraging hair growth. I have some sesame seed. I have some sesame oil. I have some agave. I have a bit of a mind about which salt I'm going to use yet. So I have some black salt. And I have some pink Himalayan salt. I have an avocado. It's a whole avocado. Uh, I have some tomatoes, a red onion, hot scotch, uh, some garlic, and scallion. And I have two lime. Everything for me is better with a lot of pepper. So this is a yellow pepper, so I'm not going to go too hard with it. Because they say they're hotter when they're riper, so yeah, I'm gonna chill with that for now. If I feel like adding some more later, I'll add some more. I'm gonna wait until everything in the salad has come together before I roast anything. This other sea moss is about. The sea moss is very high rated. It's good to go. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat all of this. I'm not even going to pretend. But this salad is inspired by uh, the papaya salad. I think it's a Thai recipe, the papaya salad. But I, instead of using the papaya, I'm using sea moss instead. So it's similar. It has, um, what's the main ingredients of a papaya salad? Really, the sesame oil, the papaya, the nuts, um, chili pepper. Instead of chili pepper, I'm using scotch bonnet pepper. Because um, I just prefer, I like cayenne pepper too, but I just prefer the taste of scotch bonnet. I guess I grew up on it, so I just prefer it. And it's it seems it's hotter to me. So I'm just going to throw everything in. If I need more of anything, I'm just going to add them. That's all. So garlic, scallion. I'm not gonna use the red onion. I think the scallion is enough. All of these tomatoes and the juicy looking the pepper all of it <laughs> sometimes black salt can take over the taste so i'm gonna go with pink salt so i'm gonna add the sesame oil and i think i'm gonna just use all of what's in here i'm going to squeeze a lime and you could add you could easily add ginger to this recipe. This ginger is like a staple in Asian recipes. I'm gonna add the salt. That's enough. I'm gonna add these last. A little bit of agave. Not too 
too much and we just add it to taste so because we're we're doing an Asian cuisine we're gonna use chopsticks also I must mention these were gifted to me from Japan they're actually yeah, I think they're shot glasses for those um, Japanese wines or you know they have some hot wine or a hot drink some hot kind of beverage um, alcoholic beverage so I think this is what they're used for but um, I'm not drinking that so I'm using it for this and since we're doing an Asian cuisine I thought I'd just bring it out I'm considering adding some soy sauce I may add some soy sauce The tomato get lost in it already. I feel like I want more tomato, you know. I'm gonna add one more tomato. Oh, it smells so good already. And I love how colorful this dish is now. That's how I love my food. Colorful. See that? Look at that. Green, red, yellow, purple. And then we're gonna add some brown. A little bit more sesame. I think we're good to go. So the only thing now is to cut up the, the um, avocado. And I've made a version of this salad before. It's not my first time doing it. I just do it different every time. It's one of my favorite salads to make. This is a finished product guys. I added a little black salt to the avocado because avocados and black salt just I don't know they go together. <laughs> so yeah that's it and I have a little of the um, soy sauce on the side so I'll add it wherever I feel like adding it. Time for a taste. I didn't cut it up because I wanted it to be like noodly type of vibe so I didn't cut it up. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. So good. The spice is just right, the salt is just right. Mm. The almonds give it a different taste, like peanut has a more distinct taste, so it's very pronounced in the dish. But the almonds is still good, nice and toasty. <laughs> East Japanese who? Mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm dancing. I should also mention that I'm having the seaweed punch, the sea punch from Ibo Spice. I'm having that with it, so I'm doubling up on sea moss today. And actually, this has five sea vegetables in it, so I'm getting it in. I'm regenerating cells today like crazy. Thank you for staying tuned. If you have any questions, leave it down below. I'll also leave the recipe in the description box. I'll also leave a link to 
the purple sea moss because I sell it it's on my website so if you guys want the purple sea moss just click the link in the description box and you can purchase the very same purple sea moss that I have here which is one of the best that I've ever seen um, in terms of purple sea moss it's sea moss in general okay so that's it guys I'm going to go and dig into this right now I hope you guys enjoyed and we will link up in our next video take care of yourself